Greetings, this is Steve from RPGMakerGameReviews.com doing a first impression video of Astoria, the holders of Power Saga. This is from Golden Unicorn Gaming, and they've actually been kind enough to give us five free Steam keys, so we'll be giving those away. And uh, if you'd like to see what else happens in the game, be sure to grab those uh, Steam keys and get your free game. Astoria, the holders of Power Saga, Windows option. Okay, so there's all our controls. Shrine of the Ancients. So this is the Shrine of the Ancients? Where are the other holders of power? They must be inside, Loris. Just wait here. I have yet to tell the others that I have taken on a squire. Okay, so we seem to have a knight and a squire here. Will I beat them? These gatherings are supposed to be the five of us, and in secret. The last time we convened, I felt like an odd man out. I surely don't want to upset the others by having you here unexpectedly. I'll explain your presence at the right time. No problem, sir. I'll just wait here. And I promise I won't touch anything. I doubt that. Very good. I shouldn't be too long. Very nice music here. I like this. Good scenery. Boris, you must leave this place immediately.
stranger, who are you? So, are you shy or do you just not want to talk? No, I do. My name is Norman. What's yours? I'm Petra. Where are you from? I bet you came from Silverdale, didn't you? What brings you here? Well, I... Did you say... Did you see any slimes during your route from Silverdale? I bet you did. My father tells me that they aren't that dangerous. He says that if you bash them just like... Or just right, they explode like... Like... When I drop a bucket of water. I want to see that. But as much as I want to see it or do it myself, I still get scared and run every time I see one. Well, that's probably a good thing, especially if the slimes are dangerous. Yes, I guess. One day I'll gather the courage to do it, I guess. I'm sure you will, Petra. Just give it some time. It was nice meeting you. of power or something. I'm sure we'll meet him soon enough, but for now we are Prince Nolan, uh, going around this village, and I guess we're going to make it, make our way to the Queen, to ask for help or something. Nothing to find in these barrels. dog. <laughs> that thing is crazy fast. Doesn't look like there's anybody home. See, of course, in an RPG, you've got to uh, enter everybody's house, see what they've got. Whispering to your dog the park and what it means. a good girl right now. Sightseeing. Ok, 
Danke. My cows are looking healthy and my chickens are lively as can be. This should be a good year for eating. Yeah, buddy. Ago, a friend came to visit from Silverdale. Upon returning home, he wrote me a letter, and he swears he spotted a troll in the woods near here. A troll! Don't worry, we'll take care of the trolls. The Boy Who Cried Wolf and Other Stories. and many more magazines. Living in a safe and secluded town, prime villages of Astoria, and many more books. I like seeing the titles of what's on their bookshelves. Adds, uh, Death, some lord of the game, some culture. Have you visited the slime farm to the south of here? Nope. It's run by old Macaulay. I think he's crazy. Who wants to live right next to a cave full of slimes like that? I know I don't. says that there are raccoons, foxes, and the rat men called Finks outside of town. It sounds scary. I'm not afraid. I really think Innisfree could grow into a city. We're close enough to the water to build a sister port city, too. We've got an inn. Can't go. Can't go through those bushes or around that tree. Go in the shop, see what they have. Actually, let's open our menu and see what we have. We've got some herbs, herb, plus some healing. Okay. weapon. All we have is some healing herbs. Uh, one thing I'll comment, those uh, intro tutorial control uh, message went by really quick. Uh, if someone doesn't know RPG Maker games, they might struggle to even get into this menu. Pressing X, I think you can also press Escape. Decrease the target's attack power for four turns. Or increase an ally's defense. Um, it's usually 
usually can also increase your own defense. You count as an ally. So there's a couple of spells that we know. And it looks like this is going to be where we can learn new spells. Says, okay, so he does have a dagger. Here's all of our stats. Let's read his profile thing down here, his description. Prince in search of reinforcements to bring back to his homeland in order to defend it against evil. So we're going to go see the queen, see if she can give us some reinforcements. wonder what kind of evil uh, he needs reinforcements against. Maybe those uh, baddies we saw at the beginning. Bestiary, of course we haven't found anything yet. Go ahead and save it here. Listen, I sell the basics at this store, mostly herbs and such. My supplier, Old Macaulay, and we know he's the guy with the slime uh, farm, hasn't been around much lately and I'm low on a few items. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, well, let's, let's find it. Let's take a look at your browse, or at uh, your wares. Browse your wares. Hi, uh, just an herb. Okay. So yeah, he really does not have a lot. Got two items. Look, man, I see you've got you've got tools, you got all kinds of stuff on your shelves. You got looks like some food products. And all you can sell me is two items. Maybe if we go see what's up with old Macaulay. Silverdale lately, but I heard that there are bandits and some really dangerous animals in the forest around there. I'd avoid it at all costs. Once you cross the bridge to the east, you'll notice the countryside is overrun with ill tempered cobras and feral jackals. Unless you take care of yourself, you shouldn't travel alone. get that far in this playthrough since we're only going to do uh, 
maybe about an hour's worth, but it's something to, uh, to keep in mind, as he says. Keep it in mind. Excellent. Have a good day, laddie. You should try the house special. funny if we get Petra as a party member. Little girl. We'll take her out to kill her first slime. setting for my proposal. Sounds good, bud. It is free. We're all friends. We all care and we all depend on each other. I'm pretty 
pretty sure I saw a pirate ship land close by an hour or two ago. Yeah, I wanted to comment on that. Um, the guy that dropped you off said the other pirates... Uh, I don't know, something about other pirates. When he was a pirate. So why is our... Prince Nolan... Uh, so chummy with him? Well, I think we've gone all around this town. Five gold for a night. No, not right now. Is there anyone at the inn that would like to go adventuring? No, I guess not. Just says the room number, room number two, room number three. Okay. I guess we're ready to get uh, go out of town, so trouble we can get into. Save it again real quick. I don't think we've actually accomplished anything, but... So here's another... Little town, it looks like, or a farm. Yeah, okay. So here's Macaulay's slime farm. There's the cave where the slimes are. Probably a good, good place to start. Macaulay's home. Hey there, Sonny. You showed up just at the right time. Did I? Uh, now, see, this is one thing, kind of a pet peeve of mine. Old Macaulay didn't have a face in his face box. Um, some of the characters did. He doesn't. Uh, some other NPCs we talked to didn't. So... I just like to see him, you know, if someone were going to have the portraits, the faces, let's get them all the faces. My name is Macaulay. I live here with my wife, Martha. What's your name? Nolan. What is it you do here? We like the seclusion here. Besides that, I occupy myself by dabbling with herb potencies. I'm trying to perfect the herb, you see. Over the years, my herbs have grown ever more potent, and the secret I have found has to do with the creatures that live in the cave behind my house. What lives in the cave? Slimes. You see, they produce a certain chemical which I can use to make the potency of a regular healing herb stronger. It's relatively easy to harvest as long as I have safe access inside the cave, but lately all the slimes have become hostile. Slimes aren't typically docile, I have to make them that way by strategically placing special plants throughout the cave. These plants have a pollen inside them that confuses the slimes and they become docile. It turns them off from acts of aggression. Very interesting. Well, it appears that all my plants have been removed from the cave. I don't know how, I can barely get inside before getting attacked. Will you please help me? I wish to continue my research. So I will help you. Thank you so much. I'll need you to get rid. I'll need you to rid me of all the hostile slimes and whatever else might be in there. Of course, you can stay here and rest up sh should you feel the need. Okay, good. Here are three herbs to help you. Thank you. Even though they are just non-thinking globs, they are territorial. They each take up their own spaces and mind each other. So, no need to worry about fighting more than one at a time. Okay, that's good. And no need to worry about the darkness of the cave. There are crystal structures that glimmer and shine all throughout. They give the perfect amount of light, uh, of ambience. Thanks again. Okay. It sounds like that cave now. Let's talk to the Lady Martha. Hello, please make yourself at home. If you'd like to rest with us, just ask. Don't need to rest right now. Oh, don't be a stranger. Stay safe. Okay. Nice old couple. 
how slime defends itself, how to anger slime and other books. Notes on slime raising. How to raise a slime and other such manuals. Okay, it did give us some herbs, so just save it again real quick before we head into this cave. Wish we could, you know, take the axe out of this tree stump. Give ourselves another weapon. Slime cave. Okay, let's see why these slimes are backing up. Where we call these plants went. We do have two magic spells. These guys should be two right guys. So let's we'll see what our attack is. We only got ten here. Saw that red one. Let's see what this guy's like. Ooh. 
40, that's bad. Okay. So this time... Fire slime was the uh, was kind of the boss. I like the lighting effects uh, in this cave here. Looking around, making sure we didn't miss anything. I think that was it. I think that fire slime was. Oh, wait, here's a. back out and uh, talk to Macaulay, see if he says anything now that we've killed those slimes. Have you killed all the slimes yet? I think so. Thank you so much, I can get back to my work now. As a token of my gratitude, take these. Received three Macaulay herbs. And Forty-five experience. Okay, let's see what a Macaulay herb does. Mac herb. Sixty. Okay, sixty compared to thirty. sleep here. So let's rest up and uh, heal before we go anywhere else. Yep, we're back up to four. to make our way to Silverdale. Which must be this way. Beware, there's an infestation of jackals across this bridge on the way to Silverdale.
so it looks like we just get random battles. Five pieces of cobra meat. They are most prevalent in the hills. Okay. Anything in there? Says, hey, don't go find it. I think so, but the queen isn't very accessible, I've heard. 
sounds folks seem to think she's easily distracted, but she's still learning how to govern. I've actually heard that she's much more understanding if you can impress her. So give that a shot. Thanks for the advice, Callista. Don't mention it. Besides, I've got a good feeling about you, Nolan. Hi, Nolan. Nice to meet you. You should stop by later and let me tell your fortune. I've been practicing with a crystal ball, although my real talent is clairvoyance. Sounds interesting. Maybe I will. Thanks again, Callista. says hello, so she must be... Must have to wait on something before she can do that. The Book of Dragons. The story is bestiary, mythical beasts, and many more books. The origin of the goblin, where demons come from, undead, the necromancers, slaves, and other educational books. The Great Invasion and the Demon War. How do they differ? Why did they happen? The early history of the story, the middle history of the story, and the story of today, and other such books. This uh, list of girls is very well read. There are a multitude of cavern dwelling monsters in the story. Whether it be the slime or a member of the undead, there are many fantastic creatures that choose to be shielded from the warmth of the story of the sun. Some of these creatures live in isolation, and others, such as the goblin, live together in a tribe or society. Most of these are small creatures, while others are composed entirely of cruel magics. However, most of these creatures have developed traits and characteristics which have helped them survive the test of time. The gazer, an odd monster comprised of tentacles and a giant eyeball, has developed magical abilities. Cave trolls have a spectacular regeneration system, which supposedly can only be destroyed by fire. The bugbear has acquired such a rage that it is said to become nearly unkillable with anger donation. Very interesting. Okay, let's go. There's people to talk to. Like a magic shop. Let's go ahead uh, before we do some shopping. We're talking to other folks. Let's see. There's more houses. I want to see what we have to do to get in and talk to the Do you know about this engraving? There's a legend throughout a story that says there was a forest inhabited by a rare race of elves. That forest supposedly still exists somewhere. Several months ago, a bard sang a tale of an elf that wished to share his race's golden magic with the outside world. His brothers and sisters frowned upon his altruism. They thought themselves the greatest of the races and preferred to never interact with others. They lived in Altruistic elf was shunned by his brothers and sisters and banished from their secret forest. He was a proud elf who never intended to share the elven magic with just anyone. So he devised a plan to both reward a very willing adventurer and spite his brothers and sisters. He went on a great journey and etched out several slabs exactly like this one. Each slab has, inst has instructions to navigate the forest that will lead to their village. The forest is magical and has many different paths, but no matter which path you take, you always appear to end up where you started. It has since come to be known as the Lost Forest. The elf traveled all around the story etching slabs like this one. Not all of them have been found. There have been many attempts, but all have been abandoned. Nevertheless, the tale remains, and one day I hope to find this great elven magic. I'm a mapper after all. I can't do it, nobody can. This tale is centuries old. By now, those elves have probably moved on or died off. Elves only live for so long, right? No, most elves live for long. Anyway, you be wise 
write down the instructions on each slab you come across if you're interested in that sort of treasure hunt. But the exciting though, right? So I'm kind of noticing there, there is a, uh, a lot of lore to the game, a lot of little clues here and there. Stuff five. I'd rather kill than be killed. Well, sure enough. Unless you're a pacifist, then you'd rather be killed than killed. Accessorizing your gear will make you stand out. It will also help you uh, it will also help to equip you nicely for a specific quest. Many accessories give special bonuses to your base status. Some items, such as magical emblems, give you resistance to specific magical attacks. An ice emblem, for instance, will result uh, will resist 20% of ice damage done to you. You need to make a trip to the far north where you will battle with frost giants and other creatures that have ice attacks. You have two ice emblems. You're already negating 40% of its damage. I have much wisdom to impart regarding magical spells. Are you interested? Uh, Alright. We do want to get some more spells. It's noticing he doesn't have any attack spells, any damage spells. He's got a shield for himself and a debuff for the enemy. Okay, let's go in. See if we can talk to the queen. Someone said, uh, Callista said we want to impress her. Found Jerry. Be king or queen for a day and let your children sit on a replica throne and see what it's like to do. Welcome to the legendary war room of King Vassalus. The bow of King Vassalus. The golden hammer of King Vassalus. The shield of King Vassalus. The tattered banner of Silverdale. This is the war room official Silverdale banner used on the battlefield during the Goblin Wars. Stuff. Hello, I'd like to make an appointment to see the Queen. I am very sorry, the Queen Delilah is extremely busy. She's currently booked up and I cannot make exceptions. I would really appreciate the Is there really nothing you can do? Well, she really is very busy, but I might make an exception. Anything you need. My cousin and his family have decided to move out of Silverdale. They're moving to the book town of Huxley. They'll be following the road out of Silverdale south and west until they reach their destination. Please, hurry, catch 
catch them before they get too far from Silver Cloud. Living this letter to them. My cousin, Raylan, needs to present it to the governor. Will you please deliver this to me? That's good. Raylan will be right back. Raylan will be right back. Raylan will be right back. Just remember, I need that audience for Queen, and is isn't prepared in the next week. Sir, what did you say your name was? My name is Lucas. Thank you in advance, Lucas. My name is Lucas. I appreciate your help. I'll be back as soon as you can. So this is another instance where a plus thought would be nice because I really do not know. So again, these maps are really nice to go. Well, the Queen's Quarter, you can't go in there. Okay, so maps are well done. done. There's a lot of war in the game. Lots of NPCs to talk to. Yeah. You haven't seen too many battles. Um, obviously, there's all of that area outside of the towns where you just go battle and level up uh, as much as you hope. Is this. I say, did we find. Um, you guys relatives already? We're gonna get uh, attacked by bandits. Father says, Who are you? Bandit leader. Good day, sir. We have come to seize all of your valuables. You, you must be the bandits that everyone in Silverdale is talking about. I, we, we don't want any trouble out of you. We'll just be heading back to Silverdale now. Yes, we're turning around. Come on, kids. Sir! Before you make a decision you'll undoubtedly regret, let me remind you. The rumors you have heard in Silverdale are all true. If you make things difficult for us today, not only will we take everything, but I promise you, we will take both your daughters as well. We have nothing for you. We're just trying to move fast. Let us be the judge of that. Hand over your way. Stop. Don't listen to that. You do as this unfortunate traveler. This is of no consequence to you, bandit. Leave these fine people alone and be on your way. Well, fellas, it appears to me that the newcomer here wishes to cause some trouble. Is that what you're looking for? I'm only looking for this situation to be peacefully resolved. supposed to be. He's got that uh, kind of ageless anime look to him. I hate to be a disappointment, but your showing up has changed nothing. You know, is he a 17-year-old kid? Is he a, I don't know, mid-20s? What kind of authority would he be speaking with here, I guess is what I'm wondering. The only difference you've made is now we have an extra purse to bring back to King. Over my dead body. <laughs> that is the point now, isn't it? Enough small talk. Fellas seize all of their goods. I really wish this didn't have to end like this. Kill me, though. If Daddy interferes, interferes, kill him as well. Bring the entire wagon back to the When you get back, 20% of yours. No one escapes. I'll see you back at camp. Now is that a, is that a girl? It looks like a girl and I've been kind of reading her as a boy.
don't take another step. You are the man you picked to fight, and now you've got one. Wayland has joined the fight. Okay, so yeah, he is the, the guy we're looking for to deliver the letter to. Going into this fight, uh, kind of thinking if we should have gone to the uh, weapon shop back to the silver deal. the system, subscribe to the channel.